What's up, Rockets? I'm Tony Freelong. And I'm Aurora Seal. And this is J-Rocket TV. Our top story, on September 9th, President Biden submitted a federal rule requiring businesses with over 100 workers and other professions to have their employees be fully vaccinated and COVID-19 tested weekly. On the way to combat the virus, the president has introduced a six-pronged plan, which consists of one, vaccinating the unvaccinated, two, further protecting the vaccinated, three, keeping schools safely open, four, increasing testing and requiring masking, five, protecting our economic recovery, and six, improving care for those with COVID-19. With the launch of this plan, many critics are challenging it as they believe it is fundamentally un-American and the government should not interfere with the practices of private businesses. The majority of hospitalizations and deaths in the current surge are among the unvaccinated. In his remarks, Biden also had words for those government officials who he said were politicizing a public health matter. President Biden said, quote, these pandemic politics that I refer to them are making people sick, causing unvaccinated people to die. We cannot allow these actions to stand in the way of protecting the large majority of Americans who have done their part and want to get back to life as normal, end quote. In other news, on September 14th, Hurricane Nicholas made landfall in Sargent Beach, Texas, and then made its way to southern Louisiana along the Gulf Coast. Hurricane Nicholas let over 100,000 people without power. This even reached the western part of Florida. People in Louisiana were barely starting to recover from Hurricane Ida that hit two weeks earlier. The mayor of Houston, Sylvester Turner, ensured that there are no injuries reported in his city. In tech news, on Wednesday, September 15th, SpaceX launched the rocket with four people in the space. This included a billionaire, cancer survivor, geologist, and a raffle winner. They all had one thing in common. None of them are astronauts. The voyage comprised entirely of civilians was a three-day trip around Earth's orbit. During the three days, they had to experience a no-gravity toilet, zero showering, and they had to sleep in the same seats that they came in. They returned on Saturday, September 18th, and landed in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. To many, this is just a trip to space, but to them, this is something much more. This is the beginning of space travel tourism. And now, here's Jason with the video game review. After over three years, the second chapter of the indie game Deltarune is finally out, now on PC and the Nintendo Switch. If you haven't heard about the game, Deltarune is a turn-based RPG game where you can decide whether to spare or kill in this world, with both determining which way your story unfolds. After playing Chapter 1, many fans were eager to see what the second chapter has in store, and it definitely surpassed their expectations. One of the new mechanics to this game would be where you can now recruit those you spare instead of getting little to nothing. Along with that, it has also brought a new world, new characters, and new secrets. The chapter overall is an enjoyable experience. Another thing that is also great about this game would be its soundtrack. Every song comp composed for this new chapter was great to listen to and really sets a theme for each area. Each area was given a song to really match the tone and feeling of the story and I think the music overall is great to listen to by itself. I think this game is really enjoyable for those who enjoy a game that is heavily filled with soaring humorous moments and of course is combat. I will give this game an 8 out of 10 as I think the game is great. However, I think it is rough around the edges and 10 out of 10 would mean anyone can enjoy this game, which I think isn't true for this game. However, if you do give this game a try, it won't disappoint you. And now here's this week's word on the street. And the question is, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would uh, eat a hamburger, you feel me? Pizza! If you could only have one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ramen noodles. Some chicken. Nah, uh, that's Chicken from where though? No, like chicken alfredo. Oh, no, something like that. Nah, you gotta do like Turkish chicken or something. Turkish <laughs> chicken. No, raisin cane. Raisin cane. Yeah. Fried rice. Fried rice? Yeah. Seafood. Cause seafood's good. That would be wings, bro. Man, wings gonna be so good. Pork steaks. Burritos. Yeah, burritos. It's on these food. It's on these food. So. Pasta. It's versatile. You can do so much with it. And it's inexpensive and it tastes great. Taking off right off for show, bro. <laughs> oh, you already know. It's Lattos. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Pizza. Fried rice. Tacos de carne asada. Macaroni and cheese. Oh, no, no. Sushi. I don't know. It's really good and it's really versatile. I like Takis a lot, so Takis. <laughs>
Awesome. Chicken Alfredo. Chicken strips. <laughs> what buffalo sauce? Yeah, you need to have buffalo sauce on your chicken strips. Spaghetti and chicken. Chicken. Because you can do so many different things with chicken. That's. I would say shrimp because you can also do different things like shrimp Alfredo, stuff like that. Yeah. That's easy. Sushi. California roll. I would eat shrimp the rest of my life. Tacos. Tacos. Man, there's a man. I would mush on. Seafood, crab legs, fried chicken, bro. Oh, uh, one food because it's trash. Peas. No one likes it. If I had one food for the rest of my life, it would have to be tamales. Got it. Oh, sushi, wings, chicken wings. Hot dogs. I like. I like. I like wings. I like. I like hot dogs. Yeah, hot dogs. Yeah. And that's about all the time we have this week, Rockets. I'm Tony Freelon. And I'm Laura Seal. And this is J Rocket TV. To see older broadcasts and other content, make sure to subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash JRocketTV.